Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, accumulator tanks and receiver dryers. Both the accumulator tank and the receiver dryer, they serve as a filtering agent inside the air conditioning system. Inside each, the accumulator tank and the receiver dryer is a desiccant cartridge that helps absorb moisture and contaminants inside the system. A couple of unique differences, the accumulator tank, it lives on the low side of the system. It lives between the evaporator core outlet and compressor inlet, low side vapor side of the system. A couple of unique features about it we can't see, but internally, inside the accumulator tank, there's a tube that goes down, loops through the bottom of the accumulator tank, and only allows vapor to exit the accumulator tank. The bottom of the tube is a small screen with a little small hole in it that will allow the refrigerant to pick up and absorb some of the oil that will migrate in the accumulator tank. One of the primary functions of the accumulator tank is to keep liquid refrigerant from going into the suction side of the compressor. We do not want to compress liquid inside an air conditioning compressor. It will destroy the compressor. Another neat feature of the accumulator tank great location where we can install a low pressure switch to cycle the air conditioning compressor. Low pressure, low temperature, if we look at a temperature and pressure relationship chart we can see that they're both closely related. Here's actually an accumulator tank that I removed from a vehicle and you can see this component that I'm removing is actually the low pressure switch for that vehicle. Accumulator tank typically is made of aluminum. Both of these tanks are aluminum or many manufacturers will make the accumulator tank out of metal. Our receiver dryers. The receiver dryer lives on the high side of the system between the condenser outlet and the evaporator core inlet between the condenser outlet and the expansion device. Again, receiver dryer, just like your accumulator tank, inside the dryer has a desiccant cartridge to absorb moisture. The receiver dryer has a tube that goes to the bottom of the dryer. Lower portion of the dryer is liquid. This is on the liquid side of the system and only allows liquid refrigerant to exit the receiver dryer. The receiver dryer is directional. On top of the receiver dryer is actually an arrow. We want to install the receiver dryer in the direction to flow of the refrigerant. So the arrow, when we install the receiver dryer, would actually point toward the evaporator core. You can see I've got a couple of different types of receiver dryers here on the table. Different applications, different style receiver dryers all serve the same purpose and function. This receiver dryer here, you can see I have a pressure switch installed on it also. This is actually a dryer I removed from a vehicle. This pressure switch here with the receiver dryer on the high side of the system, this pressure switch here is to monitor high side pressure. So if the high side pressure is higher than normal, what this pressure switch is rated at, it'll cycle the compressor off also to save system damage. I do want to point out two examples here. These components here actually serve as a receiver dryer as well. You can see the desiccant cartridge in this element. Both of these components live on the high side of the system also. They're actually installed in the condenser. Many manufacturers today are actually installing the receiver dryer in the condenser where it's part of the condenser or it can be serviced as a separate component. In closing, I'd like to point out, you can see I've got some new components here on the table that we're talking about, and I'd like to uh, give credit where credit is due. I'd like to thank our local parts supplier here in Charleston, South Carolina, Parks Auto Parts. Um, very good parts store. I've um, been in the Charleston area since 1946. Um, they are very supportive of all independent shops in our market. I'm um, very supportive of student and technician training. Um, also, you can see our manufacturer, uh, Four Seasons, which is actually owned by Standard Motor Products, um, Standard Motor Company, or Standard Motor Products, um, they're actually a, uh, a worldwide corporation, um, very supportive also of technician training, um, very good partnership that we have with these folks, so I wanted to give them a thank you as well.